Hey guys, so I've got a great song for you today. We're going to be learning Ed Sheeran's song, Perfect. Um, it's super easy in terms of the chords, just five chords to learn for this one. Um, it's a little bit more to the structure than some of the ones I've been doing recently, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Let's get learning that song. Okay guys, so as mentioned in the intro, it's pretty straightforward this one. There's literally just five chords to learn. Uh, capo needs to be on fret number one for this one. Chord number one is G, that's second string down for the top number two. Top string fret three, bottom string three. Sometimes I like to pop the pinky on there. And this one just above, that's our G chord. We've got a D, third one up from the bottom number two. Bottom string two, middle string fret three. Strum the bottom four strings. There's an E minor, second string down from the top two, string underneath two. We've got a C, second string up from the bottom one, third one down from the top two, string above fret three. And there's also a D, F sharp, so that's a D chord, normal D chord. We're just gonna pop the thumb over the top here on that fret number two note. And that's our D slash F sharp. So let's go through that again, so G, D, E minor. C, and there's also a D slash F sharp. Cool, now we've got that, let's move on to the song structure. Okay, so now we've learned the chords, we just need to know the song structure. So, the order goes verse, pre-chorus, chorus, there's a rundown, verse two, pre-chorus, chorus, interlude, chorus, outro, and a rundown. Cool, so that is the order. It might be worth writing that down so you know the order. Now we've got that, I'm gonna break down each individual section. Here we go. Okay guys, so now that we've got the order of the song down and the chords, we're gonna start by learning the verses. The order of the chords in the verses is G, E minor, C and D, twice through. So G, E minor, C and D. So we're gonna do that twice. Now, it's uh, four lots of three strums per chord. So that's, if we get the G, that's Three strums four times on every chord. Same on the E minor. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Same on the C. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the D. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we just go around that again. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. E minor. One, two, three. One, two. Same on the C, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, same on the D, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that is the verses, guys. Again, I'm just down strumming everything on this. Four lots of three on every chord, G, E minor, C, D, times two. So that is all the verses, they're all exactly the same. So now we've got that, let's move on to the next bit. Okay guys, so now we've done the verse, we've done the song order, we've learned all the chords, we're gonna move on to the next section which is the pre-chorus. Now, very similar to the verse um, in terms of the strumming pattern, so four lots of three for the majority, but we've got a G, an E minor, a C, then G to D, half a bar each, G, E minor, C and D. Okay, so that's four lots of three on a G. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Four lots of three on an E minor. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Same on the C. One, two, three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three. Two lots of three on a G. One, two, three, one, two, three. Two lots of three on a D. One, two, three. Then back to G, four lots of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Same on the E minor. Same on the C. Same on the D. Okay, cool, so if you've got that, I'm gonna give it a quick playthrough just to demo the whole thing with no gaps, here we go.
and that is the entire pre-chorus section guys down cool so if you got that we're going to move on to the next section okay guys so now we've done the verse the pre-chorus we're going to move on to the chorus section order of the chords here is e minor c g and d four times but we're going to do two lots of three on every chord so that's e minor one two three one two three c one two G, one, two, three, one, two, three, D, one, two, three, one. And again, four times on that um, throughout. So here we go. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, G, two, three, G, two, three, D, two, three. And again. And that is the chorus, that's all the choruses are the same. So yeah, just follows that pattern. Cool, so if you've got that, let's move on to the next bit. Okay guys, the next section we're gonna look at is the little rundown sections. There's one just after the first chorus, like a little musical interlude, a little rundown of the chords, one after the first chorus, and then right at the end of the song. Um, the chords we need for those sections are G, D, F sharp, so like that, or we could have the thumb over the top, uh, E minor, then a D, C, back to D. Okay, so it's uh, one lot of three on the first G. One, two, three. One lot of three on the first D F sharp. Then on the E minor. Then on the D. Two lots of three on the C. And then two lots of three on the D. And then it just goes to the end. At the end of the song, um, there's just one single strum of G to finish us off. But yeah, let me run through that rundown in a one hour. Here we go. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, cool. So when you do it in the middle of the song after the first chorus, it'll then go background to verse two. But when you do it at the end of the song, we just end on one single strum of G to finish the song. Cool. Let's move on to the next section. Okay, so the only thing we haven't looked at is the little musical interlude or the guitar solo section um, in the middle of the song just after verse 2. That is a G, an E minor, a C and a D and we're going to do four lots of three on every chord and we just go around that chord progression once. So that's one, two, three. Cool. So that's the solo um, just after verse two, and then after that goes into the chorus, outro, and then the rundown, and then that's the song done. Okay, so we've come to the end of today's lesson on Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one.